And good afternoon, Warp 23 bringing another video. This time here is a special one. We're in tune with Tragic Loss and Cabbage. So, two community managers with Wargaming North America. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm going to have to rain down a godly firestorm on you. And thank you for viewing this video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon above. And then of course, hitting the bell icon to get notifications when the next video drops. All right. So here we so go. So we're in a tune with, you know, Wargaming. And this was actually a stream where basically we're on live um, on the North America's main site. And I went to the standard bush and we have Tragic in heavy tank, and we have Cabbage in the same tank that I am. Now, we're both doing spotting, me and Cabbage. I am doing the safer spotting route. He's doing the more, well, difficult job because he is heading up the hill. So all I'm doing right here is basically doing the sniper snitcher thing, staying in the bush, trying to spot for my team. Now, if someone, one of the light tanks had to see the S system, well, this would be a no bueno and I'd be dead right away. But what we're gonna do is, and the um, we're gonna actually look at the gameplay footage from their point of view, and you'll see me in the little window right here, and well, I'll be commenting on their gameplay. Well, that was the plan, was to basically grab the um, video footage from working as intended 49, just the last section when I was playing in and everything else today, and show that what was going to actually happen. But unfortunately, that somehow, some way, that has actually been removed from the actual gameplay. It's not on Twitch, it's not on YouTube, it's not anywhere to be found. I have no idea exactly where it went, but it went away. It just got erased, and I have no idea what's going on with that. Which is okay, which is fine, stuff like that happens. So basically, I'm going to try to tell you exactly what's going on from my point of view. Now, a lot of this is everything else today is, you can see them pushing on the hill. Our team is basically, uh, they're, they're getting murdered on a hill. I mean, that's the long of the, in the shorter. Now, I'm in the perfect spot and everything else that to actually spot for my team and everything else that. But you'll see that there's a lot of times where you already, actually you've already seen where basically me clicking on the map saying, okay, target here, which gives us an additional two seconds above its normal time that shows that, that the targets will be lit up. That didn't happen. My team basically, you know, and you can see me pinging the map right now, like, okay, watch over here and everything else that you'll have targets and everything else that. But the way the team is actually deployed, yeah, that's not working out as intended. Um, that's not working out the way I wanted to. So basically our team is essentially on the hill, dying. You know, they're getting just absolutely destroyed and there's really nothing more I can do about it. <laughs> it's just one of those things where, you know, you figure that with tragic and um, on the hill and everything else that that'd be good, to, to, a good place to be for that, so you can spot and everything else that. But again, the way the hill is going is you, you, you're going to see what's happening to them and it's not going to be pretty. You can see the, um, one of the guys up on the hill right now calling for help and everything else. And again, I'm just sitting in a bush. Oof, and Tragic just got killed. Artillery just basically ended her. <laughs> Tragic just got ended. Ugh, oof, that had to hurt. But Tragic had a good run. Now the only one left on the hill is Cabbage and another person. Now you can see from the deployment, they have lots of backup, but unfortunately it's not going well. Again, they're being pushed back and you figured um, the guys in the back would be able to snipe and help these guys out. 
And while this is going on and everything else that I'm basically still sitting right here scouting for the team. So the T30 is basically my pigeon. Right, trying to wait for him to come back just a little further and slide that sock and shoot him hopefully in the butt. That oh, there's a little bit low, but see if I can get a shot on him. And cabbage mechanic goes down to the E50. So I'm like, okay, well I'm still in the middle, not spotted. Oh, but I can't get a proper shot on this T30's butt. Sigh. Hmm. So of course I go into full reload mode and sitting there wondering, so okay, what what can I do? What is left for me to actually do? The T30 has been spotted again. So unfortunately, um, Cabbage and Tragic Loss were still doing the stream and everything else that talking about bike, bikes at the time. And I'm basically like, oh God, this is not looking well. Now again, I'm not trying to leave this bush just yet. But I'm like, Ugh, if we don't do something soon, it's like that. Well, this is going to be an L. We're going to take a loss. I'm like, okay, well, let me move up and crap got spotted. So only thing that chance I have is to actually get his. Oh, oh and of course I get hit by the Death Star. Hmm. Well, at least I didn't get full pinned, but it's still that AC still still hurt. All right, so I'm like, okay, well, at least I can get back to the middle. I can come up here and spot more for the team. And hopefully my spotting will be enough. And unfortunately I hit soap rocks. Oh, this is one of the things that I, you know, I really wish they would fix. It would make life a whole lot easier, but okay. Now again, you see my me waving my turret all the way around. I'm like, okay. Let me see if I can back in the position. And no, <laughs> so rocks. I'm glad I didn't break a track there. Cause if not, I'd well been in again, soap rocks, soap rocks, soap rocks. This is a section that really needs to be fixed. Cause that shouldn't be happening. It's green. So it should be easily transversible, but it's not. Then, so I'm like, okay, up on a hill, I have the Oh, and I still can't move again. This is what drives me absolutely crazy about this map. Even though it's been reported a bunch of times, me by me personally, it's still not good. So, okay. No one else is around. I don't see anybody, but this guy is coming towards me now. I'm like, okay, team, team. He spotted someone shoot him. Someone shoot him, please. If he gets much closer, I'm going to be spotted and I'm going to get effed. And oh my God, oh, I had to dive off that I didn't have any choice. And finally Artie's hitting him. But again, he should have never been able to get this close. Never. I took damage right there. That should not, I shouldn't have taken that damage. Again, I had him spotted. Y'all can see the team can see him coming into my position. He should have died long before I had to move. But it's okay. It's fine. Let's just wipe that from my memory. Let's get back into position. Let's see if we can spot some more for the team. You gotta be very careful right here. Cause again, if that leopard PTA is really still in the, the um, right there, I do the wrong thing and fire at the wrong time. I will get spotted and well, probably get destroyed. So the team is sitting back, relaxing, you know, and I'm like, help, can somebody move up? And now where I'm sitting at, even if I spot somebody that's mostly in my range, there's no one truly to hit anything I spot because they're all outside of what, what I would call effective range. The E4, again, if you look what the E4 is, he's out of effective range. You do have the, um, the Rev moving up, so again, if he can get to the top of the hill and be more in the effective range, at least going shooting down at people and everything else that this might be able to go well. So again, my job right now is to try to get this win. This was on stream. The pressure was on and everything else that, you know, got the viewers and everything else that from the North American stream looking and I'm like, no problem. I could do this pressure. Eh, who cares about pressure? Let's go. 
All right. So no one's basically in the hill right now. He's creeping up there and everything else today, hoping that he can get through without getting spotted. Now, he's doing the correct thing. He is taking the absolutely longest way around possible so he doesn't get auto-spotted. We, since we don't know where anybody is, that's a bad thing. Now, he does come to this location here, uh, you know, a little bit, I think, a little bit too close. I thought he was going to go hug the line and go down to where that bush is at A9, but... It worked out for him. He was able to get close. And now this is the dangerous part right here. Cause again, usually somebody can spot you when you crest that section right there. Most people drop down the here and then try to come up and you see then he's doing the right thing. He's doing it the correct way. And oh, there's, there's a guy. I gotta help him. Oh, God damn it, Death Star. One. Oh, the reload, the interclip reload. If the interclip reload was fast, he literally would have been dead. You know, I could have helped out that guy. Well, no, I couldn't because I'm sorry. It's a Death Star. One shot and boom. Well, you know how that works out. But now the Death Star where he's at, he's basically going to get spotted anytime that, well, my stun is over. So I'm trying to be as careful as possible to get back in his bush so I can actually spot. Now you can see the mod one's coming up and everything else like that. Now this guy is still stunned. I know I can't fire again, because if I do, I will get spotted. But boom, I got the spotting on that guy. So the mod one is coming up. All right, so now he can effectively spot from the other area. And oof, scorpion, scorpion. One into the scorpion. Come on, come on, come on. I wish this reload was faster. Two into the scorpion. No, 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 he died. Oh, oof. Again, I wasn't able to save him. I was able to get the guy that, that spotted him, kill him, but I just wasn't enough for me to save him. Again, if the interclip reload was faster, I could have killed the scorpion faster, but it isn't. <laughs> this is one of the things you have to, ooh, 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 ooh. He didn't spot me, he didn't spot me. Come on, come on, somebody hit him. Please. He spotted artillery. I have to go into full reload because there's just nothing I can do right here. And okay, it's almost, but wait till the bush. There's one in the bush. Nice. E4 moved up and killed him. Nice. All right, the E4 is on the cap. The Udes, unfortunately, I, I really wish the, the Udes basically played the same exact position all game long. That just wasn't useful not moving up. So I'm like, okay, artillery spotted. Now I can't hit artillery from here. The problem that we have to work out is we have an E50 that has to be spotted. That E50 can just basically, if he kills us both, the only thing left over that holds us would be the, the Udis. But also the time is running out. It's like, okay, so this is on stream. Okay, so the E4 killed the Artie. I have to spot, I gotta find this guy. I don't have a lot of health. And I whiffed the shot. Nope, let me hug you. Hello. Hi. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shot, shot. Yes. Okay. I have, where is he? I have one shot left. Where's this guy at? Completed a mission. We'll tell you about that in a minute. But I'm like, uh, Cap, come on, let's get on Cap. We don't have time to sit there and look for this guy. Again, this one is down to the wire. Even though we have a lot more tanks and everything else that, if we don't cap, we could get screwed. Oh, and then he's right there. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. Zoom, 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 zoom. Got reload time, come on, reload. Yes, yes, got that epic kill. So, we finished with a total of 7k between we finished with a total between 7 7k and spotting and damage epic carry on stream carried tragic loss and cabbage mechanic to the win so let's look at the post game so you can see the actual thing that we did on this one 
all right as you can see that was an epic carry and everything else that and we finished the coalition myth 15 is complete with the, all the secondary conditions of course complete for the excalibur so mm, yes this is what we hope for the money is fine but again that right there is what we needed and then we also finished mission um, uh, light tank mission number seven complete of the t-55a so again we was on a roll this was an epic carry right here to, which again was appreciated and of course it's let it um here's the reward completed with honors 30 personal missions for the medium tank again that's nice wasn't a master so that but it was a, fir a first class and everything else like that so of course that Patrol duty, mm, nice. And again, going killing Artie's Prescucci medal. So it's one of those performances that we did everything right. Everything actually fell like the dominoes correctly in place. So, you know, this is one of those things that he carries for that, you know, and carry, not just a normal carry, but carry with two of the community managers in the game when they died early. So, Again, this is Warp on the Thing saying, Warp out, have fun. We'll catch you on the next one. Of course, please hit that like, subscribe button. It really helps your channel out because we can bring you more content just like this. Well, guys, talk to you later.